So I potentially could be going and sturgeon fishing up by the Canadian border with Skitter Kev. No, not even close to him. But that would be fun to fish with you, Skitter Kev. Anyway, uh, Garrett told me to build an anchor because them sturgeon can get pretty big and the current of the river and all that. So this, I built something out of chipper, old chipper parts. So these are chipper knives and the part standing up there is a knife holder. So this is where, the, this is in the drum of the chipper and the knife, the knife goes in there and bolts. There's another clamp that goes on here and then it, so that's why they call this the knife holder and the knife and then there's a top clamp with four bolts. Well, the, ooh, it's still hot. This knife holder has four broken bolts in it. So I, did, I just put a new one in. And then I took these four knives. Four? I put six knives on here. There. Not a bad looking weld. I'll take credit for it. But you can see these are old junk knives. And they're really dull. And they, they've been sharpened too much. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the plasma cutter and cut the the edge off them. We don't need an edge there. And I might even take these out to make this more of a hook. And then I weld a little loop on top. But this is, when you sharpen knives, you sharpen them this way so the knife gets shorter. And you put this babbit in there. And that's what keeps the overall width of the knife or length of the knife probably width the same. So this this knife has been sharpened that much. Well, here's a knife that's been sharpened even more. And this one's getting down to the point where you really shouldn't sharpen it anymore. So I'm going to take you over to our dirty table here where the knife sharpening stuff happens. So these are all chunks of babbit that have been knocked out of old knives, or sharp, sharpened knives. So say this knife is freshly sharpened and it's close. This is the gauge that that's how wide that knife has to stay. So you put these blocks in these spots, like so, and then you take, you melt the old babbit and you pour it in here and it flows and it fills and fills that space up so now your knife has the proper length that's how that's how babbit works i really don't want to show this <laughs> this is our knife sharpener and i'm gonna try not to show the garbage in the background but so you can and the inside of it's all dirty from all the shavings from the knives. Uh, the electrical motor is out of it at the moment. There's a pillow block bearing that goes on here that the bearing went out of. So I got it all tore apart. And you can see there's antifreeze down there. Uh, and this thing here goes back and forth on these rails. Yeah, it'll be a lot easier to show it when it's all together. I gotta put this thing together. I'm kind of saving it for a rain day. Something I can do inside. Well, Dean does the processor chains over here too. That's why. That's why there's all the the chains and stuff here too. But this is the thing we heat our babbit up and melt it. So he'll just take a bunch of these and throw it in there. And he's got a little contraption with a propane torch that blows on it. Melts that all down and then he'll pour it in there and then it ends up like so to keep that knife sticking out of the drum the perfect amount we have these little carrying cases with because you really you got to keep eight knives together you got to keep them as a set because you want they all have to be sharpen the same so you have to have the same amount of babbit on each one otherwise it'll throw the chipper out of balance 
and you can see there's a bunch of knives, a set of knives here that need to be sharpened. But I like to put the knives in upside down when they're dull so you can see that. And then this knife shows you how much babbit is on there to show you how old the set is. Lots of, lots of knives. I'm guessing they're all dull. <laughs> I see a lot of dull knives. Our sharpener hasn't worked in a little while, so I gotta get that fixed. And I have the parts. The pillow block bearing is out in my pickup right now. I got that the other night. Well, Dean wanted me to show his patent. He did not get this off Amazon. This is a weed burner, propane weed burner. An elbow off a skitter exhaust with a couple chunks of angle iron in his ladle so he sets it on there like so fires up the weed burner and blows the heat up through it and that's how he melts the babbit do not look for it on Amazon it will don't look for my Marbark boat anchor on Amazon either I hope that works it's fairly heavy but Garrett said that with the current and if you catch a big surgeon they'll pull pretty hard. I just threw it together and started welding. <laughs>